Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you are watching this video, that means that you picked a kaleidoscope for your trash panda treasure box. Let's take a look, see what you got in your box. All right, let's take a look and see what we got in our boxes. Some glitter paper, cardboard paper, and mirror reflective paper and another little glitter bit. You have your Petri dish, which will open. You should have some masking tape, a paper straw. You should have some glue, some sequins, and of course the instructions to help you through. Okay, so we are gonna start out with some tape. Um, I tear mine in half, you can cut it in half. I like those long thin strips, but you can really use whatever size you like. We're gonna take our reflective paper and fold it along the lines so the mirror part is on the inside. And it should come together to form a triangle with a little flap overlapping. And we're gonna tape that flap closed so it will hold its triangular pyramid shape. And I like to put my tape on the flap first, make sure everything's lined up the way I want it, and then go ahead and push the rest of the tape down, but not too hard or you'll, you'll flatten it. Got to have kind of gentle hands with this one. And two pieces of tape should be enough to hold that in the shape we want it to. Get that lined up. Finish pressing the tape down. There we go. Next, we are going to basically wrap the cardboard around that reflective paper. Um, but the trick to this one is we got to bring in that paper straw and it needs to balance on top of the point of that pyramid shape. The easiest way to do this is to put it right where you want it and then tape it in place. And I lay the tape on the top, wrap it around the circle, and then go ahead and push down. It's not very heavy because it's you know made out of paper. Um, just make sure you get that placement in there pretty good and tape it into place. Then we can bring up the edges of that cardboard paper. So there I have it right on the top of that pyramid point. Set that flat down and bring up the sides and then tape those into place as well. When you're taping into place, don't push too hard. It won't take a lot of pressure for that straw to just bend over onto the side. And we wanna make sure that it stays precariously balanced on the tip of that pyramid shape. So here we go, let's take a look. Not too bad. And you can always take the tape off and redo it if it's not quite where you want it to be. Okay. Next I'm gonna take two more pieces of tape and I'm going to roll them um, sticky side out because we are going to tape the bottom of that cardboard pyramid shape into the glitter paper. The glitter part is on the outside, so we're gonna affix this tape to the middle rectangle. Kind of line it up there. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. And then for this last part, um, because we don't really wanna see the tape, we want all of that glitter paper to be seen, we're going to use glue to tape that flap down. And you just kind of have to hold it until it glues. Um, it takes a little bit of glue because the glitter is kind of a thick, rough paper. Um, and that one just takes a little bit of patience. You could even um, wrap some string around it to hold it in place and walk away and go do something else and come back if you need to. Then, once your glitter paper is secured, you're gonna bend in the rectangles on the edges of this. This is our eyepiece, and it will fit in between the layers of that glitter paper and that cardboard. And you'll notice it has a triangle shape except for one part, which is flat, and that is the part that goes by where that paper straw is. I'm gonna glue that in and let it dry as well. And that is where you'll look through your kaleidoscope. 
But what are we going to be looking through the kaleidoscope to? This is where our petri dishes come into play. Basically, that skewer goes through the paper straw, and I don't have mine taped yet, but once you do, you'll be able to spin that to get um, a, shifting, a shifting picture for your kaleidoscope. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off that lid. I'm gonna bring over my glue, bring over my sequins, and what we're going to do is use a Q-tip. Um, I have a paintbrush because I happen to have one in the makerspace. Uh, you're going to paint a pretty thick layer of glue. And I would just do a little bit at a time because otherwise it dries out and the sequins don't stick. And then you can very carefully pick what sequin you want to go where. You can also shake your sequins on and see what color lands where. Just depends on how much patience you want to have. Um, or how particular you are about where the colors go for your sequins. This one's going to take a little bit of time, um, but we are going to do this to the whole bottom of that Petri dish. Now I gave you guys sequins to use, but um, I think I put a part in the instructions about this. It doesn't have to be sequins. Uh, if you love Lucky Charms marshmallows, or if you love um, confetti paper, you can really put whatever you want in here. Pony beads will work. Anything that will fit, actually, um, in there, you can glue into place. Um, if you want to do sequins and see how that works, you can even then put a circle piece of paper, cover up the sequins, and have another layer of something else that you like. And then you can change out what you see when you look through your kaleidoscope. So lots of options. Okay, once your kaleidoscope covered in sequins, Put that lid back on and I'm going to take tape to hold the edges together. Be careful not to get any on the top part because that's the part we're going to look through, but it doesn't matter if there's overlap onto the bottom. There we go. Secure that into place so the top and the bottom won't become separated. And then you are pretty much ready to go. So we will take our skewer, put it through the kaleidoscope. That should turn pretty freely and easily. You can look right through that eyepiece and the mirror paper should give you a sort of a reflection of all the colors swirling together. Ta-da! All right guys, thank you for following along. I hope that was enjoyable and I hope to see you back next month for another Trash Panda Treasure.